Hey y'all. What you're looking at is stampings. The initials are JT, DC it looks like, and HC of the rear hanger of my bicycle, which is a 1988 Cannondale SM600. Yep, it's a mountain bike complete with its front 26 inch, rear 24 inch wheels. I picked up this bike in 2005 and it does not have the original handlebars or seat and seat post. Seat post had to go. The original one after about 20 years or so starts developing a creak, a horrendous creak because the post has a stake right through it attaching both pieces but they did a great machining job it looked a, like a solid piece but once it started loosening up after 20 years of riding it, the creaking was unreal anyways up front original brake levers and gear shift levers the one for the rear there is indexed for this 18 speed bike. You can look up all the details on this bike on VintageCannondale.com look for the 1988 Cannondale lineup and you'll see pretty much this bike. I test rode one of these back in 88. Uh, really neat I thought, you know, really cool. I almost picked one up. All rigid bike as you can tell. The componentry, the brake componentry anyways, is excellent. All original brakes. Even the pads I think. I'm pretty sure the pads are original. They're stamped with Diacomp on top because these are Diacomp brakes. Yeah, you can see a little dirt and wear. I'm not worried about it. The front retains the quick release. The rear never had a quick release. As I'm led to understand. Uh, just because uh, people get really radical on these bikes. <laughs> Doesn't make sense for the front wheel to come off. The gears. The top ring here is original the smallest one is original, it's just not connected right now the middle ring was replaced the original one was just way too worn out it only lasted a couple of seasons for me and the original one was egg shaped I had to replace it with a round one so I couldn't find the exact original one, just the 38 tooth round sprocket for a Suntour bike which is what it is. Suntour XCD Componentry. Rear derailleur, chain, rear gear cluster have all been replaced on this bike. It had a 40 some tooth low speed gear which is not on there now but this unit is new. It bites really good. The chain can grab it and you can really haul on this thing a smaller rear wheel allegedly in the brochure said it was good for uphills gaining good traction on uphills and um, it was actually called a trials bike if you can believe that but look at that site vintagecannondale.com and look up the brochure and you'll see everything stated about this bike. This derailleur when I put it on it fit like a glove. I had very little adjustment I needed to do with that because that derailleur is only at most a couple years older than the bike but was in good condition. And so here I'm going to show you the original derailleur XCD 6000 
which was original componentry for the bike. This is the original played out one. Since I was waiting or actually couldn't find the original one online, I went and bought this Shimano thing, Tiagro, which I never put on, still brand spanking new. And then eventually I came across the original XCD 6000. This is a brand new, out of the box, only just a little scratch there, but it was never put on a bike. Also brand spanking new. May put it on, but that derailleur first will have to start screwing up, which it hasn't so far. This bike shifts like a dream on or off the stand. I want to show you right now. Pretty good, I think. And there she be, 1988 Cannondale SM600. Thanks for watching.